Alright guys, and I'm back. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, in all honesty, I've actually been away for almost a day or two. Can't remember exactly. Um, I was going to <laughs> pick it up right after I did everything I was supposed to do uh, for reading ahead, but completely forgot about it after a while. And then I just remember today that I still have to finish this set. So let's get to it. Unfortunately, I have no clue what I was working on before, and I don't I can't, I can't be bothered to do it again. I had an entire, you know, list writ up and everything, and then I turned off my computer forgetting to save it, and, eh. Alright, let's go up here first. <clears throat> Take me somewhere. I'll probably flip it back when I get back here. <laughs> yeah, the Gungrets are afraid of water. Go figure. What is this? That is an ether. <laughs> okay, good. I think I'm going in the right direction. Maybe. Yeah. We'll find out in a moment. I don't want to flip those just yet. Ah, more bats. These are secret bats. Can I get anything from these guys for Queena? Uh, secret bats can be eaten to get night. We don't need that. That would be a blind effect. And thanks to our bright eyes, he can never be blinded until I remove it. Alright, let's... Uh, excuse me. Uh, right. Five more points. Luckily, this isn't so out of the way, so... I'm guessing that the path I just took was going to be the uh, beginning path to the exit, which we don't want to do just yet.
Oh, enemies. I didn't think there'd actually be enemies in this little area. What the? Okay, what are you? <laughs> An abomination, that's damn sure. Abominations can give us night as well. Why am I so tired? I'm not tired, I'm just yawning. All this for a chest, but it'd be damn well worth it. Fairy earrings. Might be. Level up and buy temp. Nice. Plus region. I could use that later. Let's see here. 13, 15. You could use it. By attempts prevents freeze and heat. Um, I actually did do some research on this. Uh, freeze, basically you're frozen, and if you get struck, you die. I believe. And heat is the reverse, where if you take an action while under the effect, you die. That is, if what I read is true, I am not 100% sure. Yeah, poison and venom I can handle, so... All I need, really need is loudmouth jelly and clear head. I'll put in a devil killer, cause it's just because I think these enemies are more demonic. <laughs> so basically, now that we have all that said and done, we have to go back and redo everything we just did. Come on. There we are. What are you? What do you do? I'm sorry, it's like the third time I've been through this this room, and I'm so curious who the fuck this is. Alrighty. 
Later, old man, and your pickaxe. Pick it up. And hold it in the air. You know, <laughs> the Gangrent reminds me of something from my, um, Legend of the Gaia LP. <laughs> um, for those that have never played Legend of the Gaia, it's basically a traditional MMO for th from the PlayStation 1 era, like this one, but a lot older. <laughs> a lot older. Um, the basic premise of the story was that, um, <laughs> a long time ago, God came to the Earth, gave human, created human and gave them a... basically what equates to a, a slave race, almost. <laughs> um, allowed creatures called Sedu to be um, controlled by humans to be used however the humans deemed worthy. <laughs> uh, one day, a mist arose, causing all the enemy... causing all the Sedu to go crazy, and yada yada yada. The whole deal was to destroy the mist and save the world. The Gongrent reminds me of a specific Sedu, Sedu I saw in the game. It was basically what equivalent to, equivalented to a um, train. <laughs> Those that have seen my Le uh, Legend of Ligaya LP or have played the game, you might know what I'm referring to. It's the um, thing that takes you from, ironically, one continent to the other. Yeah, they could do some heals. But yeah, um, I recommend going checking out Legend of Gaia as well if you can find a copy of it. It's pretty old. Um, it's a really good game, really unique system, and everything. Um, if you can't find a copy of it, feel free to check out my LP on it. It was one of the first LPs I did when I got the Dazzle. Actually, it wasn't one of the first LPs, it was the first LP I did when I got the Dazzle. Alright. Let me set something on that. Reflect and float. <laughs> That's gonna take a while. <coughs> no, I just went up there. Alright. So, flowers. Pick. Yeah, it does look a lot like it, just, you know, more buggy. I have no other adjectives to describe that by. It's just buggy. Okay. So, we need more flowers and stand the black stuff. What is that? Oh, it's water runoff. Oh, okay. That makes sense. You know, it's kind of ironic, or not ironic, kind of interesting. The Gangrens, uh hate water. Yet they live in a semi-aquatic environment. I mean, the cave is just has an underground lake. It seems weird. <laughs> All right.
Oh, if you're able to get the chance to, or the ability to at least, um, return to Trino. Uh, we will be doing that later in this disc. Um, there is a item for sale in the auction house, a new item, I believe, right now at least. It's called Dark Matter. I highly doubt you'll be able to get it at this point in time. You may have to only you may only be able to get it in disc three. But if you're able to get a hold of it, which will be surprising considering how much it's gonna freaking cost, um, you'll be able to get Odin. Odin is a beast of a summon. <laughs> we should be getting Shiva relatively soon. I believe anyway. I can't remember the first time we get her, one of uh, the uh, gem for her. I believe it's a sapphire, actually, now that I think about it. I know Topaz is for Ifrit. Sapphire might be for Shiva. I can't remember the rest. <laughs> Damn it, now my curiosity is getting the better of me. Yo. Yo. Hey. Ooh, new stuff. Ah, oh, remedies. Eleven should do it. Check that on the bit. Hmm. All right, let's go up first. I get the feeling I might have to explain a ability real quickly. Since you've probably seen it, but I've been curious about it. Where is it? Ah, float. Uh, allow single or multiple targets to float in the air. I'm gonna demonstrate it real quickly. Um, well, not right now anymore. <laughs> this is actually a pretty interesting ability. Um, it allows you to take no damage from Earth-based abilities. I believe, but I'm not sure, that it might also increase damage from lightning ability. So be cautious of when you use that. I'm not 100% sure on the lightning one, but I do know it nullifies Earth. Because you're not on the Earth anymore. This should lead us somewhere. I'm using um, a little bit of a walkthrough right now, just so I know which, uh, where all the items are, because there's some that I really want to get. <coughs> this should lead us to a chest. Yep. With Lamez Tiara. Where is it? 
Oh, it's a headgear, isn't it? Yep. Clear-headed and confused. Ironic. And we're about to master... Um... Rama. Nope. Of course, right when I step on the freaking platform, I'm about to press X. I'm gonna demonstrate float just so you guys see what it looks like. There is an auto float ability we'll get uh, later. That will be somewhat helpful, I guess. I know... Oh, yeah, that's a, um, special item. A side item. Miscellaneous item. Come back here, buddy. I'm wondering if this is, if this is all the same gang grid, or are there, you know, like, hundreds just running along, the, along these routes? Yeah, don't worry about, um, getting lost. You'll eventually, or trying to find the exit. The gang grid will lead you to an exit, and it'll be quite obvious when you see it. What have we got here? <coughs> Feather Circle, that sounds very familiar. Oh, hello. <laughs> These give us level 4 holy. And outside of one other monster, this is the only monster that can give us it. So I'm gonna try and get one. <coughs> uh, let me find out their HP real quickly, it's just so I don't overkill one. Uh, 1619, or 619, not bad. He is troubled. <coughs> so let's try a Metro Magic. So Zidonki can uh, one-hit kill these guys. Gotta be careful with that. <coughs> Far right one, and it hit. He has one HP. Please do not attack Zidon. I'll be so mad. I'll describe what level 4 holy does um, as soon as we get it. Okay. Level 4 holy, you've seen, um. Uh. <laughs> Beatrix is holy, remember? Beatrix is holy is basically level 4 holy, the only difference is. Um, our holy, our level 4 holy, will only affect enemies whose levels are a multiple of 4. And it's on everything.
I just want to see what it looks like. It's been a while. So his HP, or his level, is not a multiple of four. <laughs> Yay, we learned Rama! Let's Cura. Just double checking everything. Ten more heal master level up. Oh. Forgot I had one uh, I, um, he was learning ability up as well. Okay. Wait, I need to get rid of that, uh, trouble. If you try to go up, you'll be knocked down to the water. Like that. <laughs> you have to avoid those... Uh, faces. Since she's so close to actually getting a trance, I don't want to accidentally use it and get rid of that. So I'm going to save it for a little bit. Yeah, I kind of feel that's going to happen. <laughs> if you're able to pull off a uh, cook, by the way, it'll actually have a very a different um, appearance than her eat. It will be forks and knives flying around them. I think it'll actually get turned, actually get thrown into a giant um, pot. Which will be demonstrated in the relative near future. That's our exit, but we can't get to it just yet. Let's go over here. For a survival vest. This was, I believe, in the last battle with Beatrix. And we get to learn Mug. First, I want to finish off Stone Killer before I do that. Always remember, finish what you start. Ah, more of these annoying little... things. <laughs> now these guys normally appear in icy areas, so that means they're weak to fire. This is actually an interesting place. Talk to him. <laughs> I 
give him a potion, <laughs> and he'll give us his pickaxe. Now, you can sit here and mine on the walls as much as you want, just walk up to him and press X. And occasionally you'll get like an ore, I believe. Let's see here. Yeah, if you keep digging, you'll eventually get like ore there. <laughs> Dig up here, you get some ores as well. But the main reason why we're here is this obvious back wall that's, you know, just full of rocks. Just keep mining here. It may take a while. Coop? It's a Moogle. Talk to the Moogle. He has stuff for us for the Magnet. <laughs> Deliver a letter to Koopo. The very first uh, Moogle we met. He also has a Mog Shop. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Anything else? Nope. And then you can dig down there as well, but you won't get anything really worthwhile, as far as I know. Um, this will always be here. All you have to do is come back down here and uh, talk to him. He'll give you his pickaxe. So now we can go to the exit. That's all. Um, I believe the stairs down that we um, came when we first came to this area with the uh, treasure hunter that sold us um, some stuff. I believe that just leads us to a gangrene. That's why I didn't go down there. Well, that was fun. <coughs> and now I'll show you the distance we traveled. We were in <coughs> near Q's Marsh. So we went from here all the way to here <coughs> while underground. Damn. But, now that we're here, there are quite a few things we can do now. One of which is to go to that village we just passed under, but we will do that in a moment. What I am looking for... are chocobo tracks. Song below. Come here, piggy, piggy, piggy. What's just a uh, max, uh, mass cura? I haven't done that yet. I like it. Definitely helpful compared to, or definitely not more helpful than compared to cure. Vivi learned leveled up. Score. Is that everything on the fairy earrings? I believe so. Let us check. That it was. Um... 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to learn Kira. Or right, finish learning Kira first. I know, I know the Moogle tracks are up here. <laughs> There's also a new Q's March here. It has actually quite a few frogs in there, so... Ah, Griffin. Um... <laughs> If you have not gotten White Wind yet, this is where you can get another one uh, from Griffin. That is, if you didn't get from the zoo from Clara's Trunk. Or Slara's Trunk, I pronounce it. Shouldn't be too tough. So annoying. Why don't you use it on all? I need all I can only that. Nah, well I need to use it on Zidane. So your header was learned, awesome. And there appeared out, so we can now make another Rama. She learned something. I'm gonna check anyway. Not much longer until she masters Confuse. Alright. Uh, Zidane gets hit. Oof. Yeah, since he learned a new- or since he got a new weapon, he should have learned a new spell as well. Or a new dying. Killed by a black mage's physical attack. It's kind of sad. Alright, just to mark it. Like I said earlier, I'm going to do the Q's marshes off screen just so I have stuff to do when I'm editing and uploading. <laughs> Alright, now. The Chocobo track should be right there in front of us. What have we here? <laughs> These are goblin mages. Goblin mages can give us goblin punch, which is something we don't have yet. Let me check their HP real quickly. 983. Wow. That's impressive. Now it's lunch.
and that's the effects of Vanish. Well, I'll make sure I can eat it before I eat it before I do anything else. Earn Goblin Punch. He's going to give us a demonstration of it. Goblin Punch does non-elemental damage to an enemy, so no defense to it. I'm starting a lot of nice stuff today, aren't I? A nymph card. Now I can finally show you guys what a nymph looks like. Of course, I believe the nymph card is actually green. Yeah, it's green. I guess I already had a few nymph cards. Uh, this is actually a picture of the friendly nymph we'll find later on. Uh, the nymphs that if you want to get dark uh, night from are blue. Come here, Choco. We actually have a Choco Graph near here. Um, Uncle for Uncultivated Land, and that's not it. Abandoned Beach, that's the one we're looking for. Far Away Lagoon, where the hell is that? <laughs> hmm. Long stress stretch of reef. I think I know where that's at, but I'm not 100 percent sure. <coughs> but we want abandoned beach. That is over here. Let's turn so we can get a good view. So, let's rotate so we can get a good view. Here? There it is. And we get... 9 Phoenix Pinions, 5 Phoenix Downs, 12 Paradots, and 1 Diamond Glove. Ooh! Now I'm going to double check something real quickly. Just to make sure, because I think someone made a typo. Far Away Lagoon. Yeah, so I made a typo on this little <laughs> where at locate uh, map. <laughs> oh well. Yeah. Okay, cold field we can't get to. Far away, far away lagoon we can't get to. And uncultivated land we can't get to. <laughs> we will be finding. Kinda later on, we will. <laughs> a uh, nether quote unquote chocobo forest. It's not really a chocobo forest, but meh. <laughs> Oops. Let's check out those diamond gloves. <laughs> if we can equip them, that is.
That's what I thought. They are for heavy... <laughs> They're for my more warrior-based characters. Yep. Wow, water damage reduced by 100%. That's impressive. <laughs> Alright, so... I believe that's going to be the end of the set. Actually, let me go into this, ta this uh, town and get the cutscenes done here. I have a little extra to upload, but oh well. <clears throat> it just means one of my sets will be over 30 minutes. Or one of my parts will be. <laughs> I want to go in here because we have some stuff we can buy. Actually, not looking at there's not going to be much I, want, I can get. <laughs> uh, let me take a quick look at my <coughs> inventory. Or my equipment list, at least. So the Gladius to work on. Oh yeah, I have plenty of stuff to keep me busy while <laughs> waiting. While editing. Yeah. More point, jeez. And we're going to probably learn High Tide while I'm out. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be the end, the end of this set. Um, I'm going to spend time off-screen uh, level grinding and catching frogs. Or AP grinding and catching frogs. So I shall see you guys then. Hope you guys are enjoying the LP as much as I am. If you do, if you are, please like and subscribe. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye-bye.